On June 1, 2015, the YWCA of New York City held the Potential to Power Symposium. The conference's youth speakers focused on their civic engagement in their communities. The conference also highlighted each woman's ability to empower themselves and each other. Today has taught me that the potential power I have is super powerful. Um, pretty much, that's it, that I'm a powerful girl and I have, I have all I need within me and around me to make changes and to affect people and the environment and the community and the world. So it taught me that I was just, I am power. Well, they really taught me how I could use my my feminist background and my activist background and my being a woman to help lead people. And so I've really started to, since I've done the program, I've really started to intertwine who I am as a person with now being a leader instead of like, oh, I'm a woman, so I can't do that. Now I'm like, I am a woman, so I can do this. And it's really helped me be a better leader. I think for me, I've been able to see that this country is so unique in the way that it's been built um, upon the backs a lot of times of people of color. Um, and so that's really important to, to take into consideration because it means that as we're searching for this American dream, you know, this, the ideal like American dream um, that we see on you know, in the regular history books doesn't necessarily apply to people of color the way that it applies to um, uh, the nuclear family of, you know, the mom and the dad um, who have their house in the suburbs. Um, but at the same time, it's amazing to see how people of color have not been, they have, we have been oppressed, we have been oppressed by the America that we live in. and yet we've still managed to, to take our oppression and, and really run with it and in a way built ourselves up even further. Um, but in no way do I think that our work is done right now. And so I would say that the American dream for people of color right now is to, to realize the history that lies in our country and the oppression that lies in our country and to really to take that into consideration as we as we can um, continue to strive to be the people that we want to be. The keynote speakers expressed their tactics to fight gender equality, as well as to encourage women to have these conversations within their own communities and peers. Each person makes a difference. It doesn't matter if you're 12 years old and you're in middle school or you're in high school or if you're a woman in a powerful position. You can influence a bunch of people and spread the word about feminism. Well, definitely um, with everything I've learned from today and just everything, all the messages I've gotten from feminism, I try to live my life um, in a way that empowers other women. And I'll definitely take the, everything I've learned from today and bring it back to my own community and my school and try to spread awareness. I think every grassroots movement is connected by that just because it always starts with one thing. And if, not, if there's no one engaged in a problem, then the problem won't be solved. I feel like in these programs and kind of my everyday life, like I talk a lot about feminism and a lot of these other topics, but I never really hear like um, empowerment like as a young girl because I'm only 16, so I'm very young and I often feel like my voice can be overshadowed in a lot of ways, specifically by adults. And I think it's comforting and also empowering to hear all these other young women and just women in general saying like your voices do matter and like what you have to say about these topics is important. And so that's definitely something I'm going to take away from today. Adding on to that, I feel a fear with all leaders is not being followed, and especially when we're pretty young. And that being a leader and follower is present in every part of our life, whether it's socially or academically. So for me, a bit, I always felt if you're not doing something big, are you really making that big of an impact? And it took a while for me to realize something even small, one small thing, one statement of saying, don't cat call me. Every little thing makes a difference. And I was always thinking, if I'm not winning a Nobel Peace Prize, if I'm not 
speaking for the president, am I really making a difference? So the biggest challenge for me, other my one of my fears is being turned down, which for my club attempt I was, but also learning from that to persevere rather than let the people that aren't encouraging you stop you from achieving your goals. So. And this is just like a personal issue that I have had to deal with. Like, do I choose to speak up today or do I just ignore it? Because my safety is at risk, my life is at risk. And so I think that has been my main fear in terms of when do you choose to speak up? When is it right for you to speak up? And especially if you speak up, who will speak up with you? 